Uh, this is what makes us different, is that, whoa, <laughs> this is what makes us different is that, thank you so much, is that we are willing to hold administrations accountable for the rights of immigrants and immigrant families, regardless of, uh, of, of party or allegiance. Right is right, and our main allegiance is to the families, uh, immigrants and, and U.S. citizen families uh, of the United States. Um, so thank you to our co-leads here, Senators Menendez, Padilla, Lujan, and Booker, and Representatives Casar and Grijalva. Uh, for co-leading on this, as well as, as our members here joining as uh, 77 members total of the House and Senate, additionally, who have signed on to our letter, up to 80, uh, as Senator Menendez had, had indicated. Last year, President Biden promised to end Title 42. Instead, he is now expanding restrictions on asylum seekers. But the right to seek asylum is enshrined in domestic and international law. And the United States is a shining example. And, and we have sought and aspired to be an example to uphold international law. Instead, this administration is making it effectively impossible to seek refuge at our border. The courts rightly rejected the Trump administration's attempt to categorically end asylum. President Biden should listen to the courts and human rights activists and reverse course. There can be no confusing the Biden administration's immigration policy with the Trump administration's, but doing better than Trump doesn't mean it shouldn't be the bar. Thousands of lives are being put in real danger every day. There have been more than 10,000 violent attacks on people at our border, including kidnappings, serious assaults, and deaths against individuals who were expelled due to Title 42 since the beginning of the Biden administration. The Biden administration's new policies only make it more difficult for the most vulnerable to legally access the United States. We are confident that there is a better way forward. And this is a sentiment not just held by progressive members, but by 77 Democrats in the House and Senate across the ideological spectrum. We are ready to work with the president to ensure that we have a safe, humane border that upholds the right to asylum without recreating unjust policies of past administrations.